Now, I'm also a practical realist, as I mentioned in the beginning. Yes, I believe in the goodness of people. Yes, I focus on positive and positivity. And I don't just get lost in an utopian world. I know this work has to happen from the inside out also. I am fully aware of how women many times are the first to have biases against other women in event technology and event productions. I've seen it play out again and again in my own experience as well as in other people's experiences and in some of the stories that I've heard from some of the amazing women that I got to interview this past season until we break down those biases biases from the inside out that maybe just maybe females could also be the ones in charge just as often as guys tend to be, then maybe that's when the change will become more of a reality for all of us women behind the scenes in events and event productions. So while we expect the guys to be our allies and our mentors and create space for us to flourish and thrive, the change must start with us. We can be hypocrites and I am the first one to raise my hand and admit that there might have been times when I caught myself doing just that and I had to make myself aware and become aware of my own biases. And once I did that, I was able to pause and stop and question my own preconceived notions about why do I think that a female in a technical heavy role could be a weaker asset to the team than a male in the same role with the same skills and knowledge or even lesser skills and knowledge? And how unfair is to apply that mindset to my own interactions when I've been on both sides of the things. And I know personally how hurtful and damaging to one's confidence those preconceived notions and perceptions really are. And so the questions become, is it the lack of access to education, the hands-on training, the knowledge, or straight up awareness, the culprit here? As I pondered upon this dilemma, just this past year alone, and how much more work is to be done here.